We are going to program our portable PMD using the custom console app. Compress on the icon on my Android device. I happen to be using a tablet today, but you can use a smartphone as well. We are currently using version 4.3 of the custom command console. And we are going to press the open button and connect to our display. And once it uh, finds the Bluetooth device, it will begin downloading the parameters. Alright, we are connected and it's starting to uh, fetch the parameters from the device. Now don't hit that close button too quickly because it may disconnect if you do. So let it finish. And we are going to reprogram the schedule. Now this is a custom console, the user version. So we have the scheduler, we have the info button, which allows you to do several things, including update the time. We have the radar tab, and we have the statistics tab, which we'll talk about in another session. We're going to go back to the schedule, and it's going to reload the parameters again. And we're going to program this display. Now the display can be programmed for every day. You can have a specific behavior that you want to program with multiple thresholds for different times of day. You can have working day as well as the weekend. For example, if you want to turn off the display on the weekends, you can do that. Um, we can program it by a calendar. And we also have a program by the manual mode, which is what we're going to do today. Now, this sign is currently set up for a 35 mile per hour speed zone. Uh, it is currently set to have a blank display up until 10 miles per hour. At the first threshold, at 10 miles per hour, it's going to give radar feedback. It's going to do this up until 36 miles per hour. And at 36 miles per hour, it's going to flash radar feedback. Today, we are going to add two additional violator alerts. So I'm going to, in the threshold count, I'm going to change this to four. Hit the return tab. And this has added two more thresholds. So I'm going to add a red-blue violator alert. I'm going to press on the display button. I'm going to, I'm going to add the red blue violator alert, and I'm going to program that at 43 miles per hour. So type in 43, hit return. Next, we're going to do a high speed blank. So let's say 65 miles per hour. We're going to blank the display so that anybody driving by it will not get any radar feedback. Okay. So let's revisit. You've got uh, no display up until 10 miles per hour. From 10 to 35 miles per hour, we have radar feedback. At 36 miles per hour, between 36 and 42, it's going to flash radar feedback. So 43 miles per hour, so from 43 to 64 miles per hour, it's going to have a red blue violator alert. And at 65 miles per hour, we're going to blank the display. I'm actually going to change this last one we have an alternative to blank in the display. You can either do dashes or flashing dashes. I'm going to select the flashing dashes. Now this just lets those drivers racing by the sign know that, yeah, I've got uh, radar on you, but I'm not going to give you the satisfaction and display your speed. So that starts at 65 miles per hour throughout the device. So bottom right, we're going to write this program to the device, and you will get a confirmation of success here in just a moment. Okay, the sign is now programmed and we can close out the application.